Have you been watching everybody play the scam decks in Modern and Timeless and feeling left out? Maybe you don't have the wild cards. Maybe you don't have access to <laughs> that, you know, the stuff, the griefs and the, all that stuff. Well, I got you covered because you can scam in standard. Let's go. That's right, welcome to the Attic Manadad here. This is the channel where we play what's fun in Magic, mostly on Arena, today on Arena. Scam, but in standard. It's the summer of scam. Modern Horizons 3 has brought all the scam elementals to Arena. We don't have them in standard, but we can still scam. We have Not Dead after all, first of all, which is a scam classic card. Instant target creature you control gains. When this creature dies, return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control, then create a wicked roll token attached to it. Fun. Only running one of those, because here's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to do the Deep Cavern Bat, <laughs> and especially the Skullcap Snail, and maybe even some Corrupt Court Officials. Those are all just going to rip apart our opponent's hands. Then we can bounce the snails and the corrupt court officials with nurturing pixie and play them again what's more we can also <laughs> rip apart with hopeless nightmare and bounce that with nurturing pixie and play it again so opponent is going to rapidly lose cards of course liliana can also just get those last couple cards out of their hand tiny bones joins up sort of honorary copy number five of hopeless nightmare i'm only running one of because it's rare first of all and second of all because it's a legendary so uh, duplicates are not as helpful. Um, couple cut downs, and then we've also got Helping Hand, which can bring back these creatures if they die. If our opponent doesn't do us the favor of killing the creatures, we can sacrifice them and start just killing their stuff with it. We can also, and this is a fun scam to run here, play Tithing Blade, which is an artifact when it enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a creature. You will be surprised how often people scoop. You play this, you play the pixie, you bring it back to your hand. They know whatever the next creature they play is also getting sacrificed, especially if they're all in on some of these big creatures like Atraxa and such. Uh, it's pretty fun. Otherwise, we got a couple temporary lockdowns to clean up the board. Uh, wedding announcement. Once once we've ripped apart their hand, wedding announcement is pretty hard to deal with. And uh, Yogmoth Trader, just draw some cards off our pixies and our snails and such. And uh, one Edgar Charm Groom, which is kind of like wedding announcement on steroids but just gives us a little something to do uh restless fortresses can also help close out a game where we've kind of stalled out and everybody's emptied their hands and um otherwise we got some concealed courtyards and some aganjo and Sintakanuma. if you are a budget player which i am a lot of the time i have one free to play account um what i recommend is you can actually i have tested this on my free to play account I don't have the full playset of Concealed Courtyards. It doesn't matter. I do have a lot of Restless Fortresses I happen to have, so I threw those in. But the deck's going to play better if you have a good mix of dual lands to run in it, but you don't have to. There's Caves of Koilos, of course. So say you get rid of those. You do have a number of rares here, but then a lot of commons and uncommons here in the rest of the deck. So... It's relatively budget. I'm not going to claim it's a budget deck. I'm not going to put it in the budget um, thing, but what is this? One, two, three, six, nine, ten rares, not including the lands. So it, it I, you could make it a budget just by, if you don't have the lands, doing it. But of course, the lands are the first things you want to craft if you've got the, the, the wild cards and... Uh, I have 66 rares and one mythic currently because I have been uh, crafting all those mythic uh, scam cards on this account. All right, so let's see how the scam deck works. If you like this sort of thing, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe. I don't like to say hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, but if I don't say it, the video doesn't do as well. So I'm saying it. I appreciate everyone who does it. It helps out tremendously as all YouTubers say, and I know I'm, I watch a lot of YouTube videos myself and I get annoyed when people bring it up, but this is the reason they bring it up because it does, it does help. Sorry. Okay. Well, let's just see this deck in action because um, I think that I could talk about it a lot, but I think the best way just, just to see the scam in action. So let's scam it up. Hold up, partner. It's me, Tyler Bones. Yes, that's my real name. Not just my wife's nickname for me. As a skeleton thief, I'm always looking for a steal. Did you know that memberships on this channel cost the absolute minimum that YouTube allows? 
And you get access to videos early, which means you can steal deck ideas from the car sharps before their stagecoach even gets to town. Yeehaw! Some of the car sharps around these parts are so sharp, they are sharper than my adorable little baby teeth. Oh, so tiny. The really sharp ones are using the affiliate link in the description to buy the cards they like at suspiciously low prices. That video description has all kinds of loot. Too bad I never learned to read. Kids, don't grow up to be like me. Tiny bones, living a life of crime and having no eyeballs. If only I growed up with a man a dad who always had a wrap up at the end of the video with surprising and useful information. Then they would call me smarter bones. Don't be like me, tiny bones. Be like a smarter, less tiny me with eyeballs and a brain and such and a plan for what to do with considerably more jewelry than my tiny little arms can lift. Oh, I'm late to rob a graveyard. Adios! Playing some scam in standard. Well, we've got our colors. We don't have the full scam. Inauspicious start. Start ripping their hand apart, though. What do they discard? Dranith Ruins. Don't see that every day. Okay. Uh, we'll just continue to make them make the hard decisions. You just took a double mulligan opponent. What do you say to that? I think they might be a burn deck using Dranith Ruins. Is that new tech for the burn decks? Mono red. Red deck wines. Block. Um, mm. Okay, well, we could pray it or. Draw cards, or we could just Tithing Blade this Felden. Yeah, let's just do that. I think the sooner we get the Restless Fortress online. And I don't think we're going to block anything with this like Caps now. They could do uh, it's the char the Charming uh, guy as a 1-1 one -one for some reason. Charming Scoundrel. <laughs> Thank you, opponent. They go for the 2-2. Two -two. The 2-2 two -two version. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, at this point, do we Yawgmoth? I think we, we can... They might kill Yogmoth next turn. We'll get a card out of it. Bat has lifelink. <laughs> they do kill Yogmoth. Okay, we're down to eleven. Um with Bat. What do they got? They've got another Witch Doctor Frenzy. We can definitely take that. And then do we just Tithing Blade the Scoundrel, or do we bat the other creature? We'll blade. Blade it up. Blade. No, we can play their adversary, but they don't get the full value. No blocks. See what their last card is. Charming Scoundrel, interesting. If I was them, I would play the Scoundrel with the treasure and play the adversary. Or waited a turn. Uh, well, we can. We don't have to cut down immediately. Save it and see. Mountain. What does attack? Yeah. It's time for us to start getting our life back. Back to eleven. Down 
nine. Uh, concealed courtyard. I think this should... This should get a concede. Oh, it knows what's good for him. Back up to 11. Swift Spear, and there's the concede. Okay, no scamming, but uh, we jamming. Up against TML Turby. Turbs to the burbs. Okay, well, we got a tiny bone scam. Um, I guess we'll have to do it turn two. Our white source is tap. Depending on what we draw here. Point down with the blue. Could be a control deck. Looks like it is. Um... Well, let's see. I didn't have a make disappear. Yeah, just you can discard, please. They get lost with the tiny bone. <laughs> I mean, little do they know that actually screws us up with um, the pixie. Turn this map into a plus one counter. Oh, it's not coming. Uh, if they want to try to kill the pixie. Skullcap snail, yeah. We'll keep that. And before we attack with the bat. Bat Guano, that is your real name. Union of the Third Path, okay. They are full on control. Uh huh. Well, we don't like the Wandering Emperor. We don't like Jace. We'll take the Wandering Emperor as the bat removal. Jace. Jace Ice is the pixie. Let's take something out of their hand. What would you like to lose? The negate or the memory damage? Take out the negate. Okay. And we'll remove Jace. Thank you very much. Now they can deluge and refill their hand here. Um, hmm. Bloody announcements. Question is, do I want to draw cards or make a one-one? I think I'll draw cards. I can with both. When it goes and finds a board wipe, no doubt. Such a broken card. Every day we just go busted. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what they got. They're crying. <laughs> okay, it was sorcery speed apparently. It's <laughs> they took two lands? Out of their seven, how many do you look at here? Well, they looked at the top four and there's just all four lands maybe? Crazy. Well, here, I guess we'll attack first. Play another creature land because that field of ruin is coming after our restless fortress, no doubt. 
Yep. There it is. What will we take? I guess we'll take a planes. They get another wandering emperor. Uh oh. Get lost. No, memory damage. <laughs> okay. Looking for a get lost. Get the drain. They get lost the pixie. Not a hundred percent on why they did that, but See what they got in their hand. Fateful absence, sure. Get back their Wandering Emperor. Then we can take the Wandering Emperor, right? Oh, <laughs> they have two Wandering Emperors. Look at that. Well, opponent, you're going to love this. GG's. <laughs> Summer of scam, everyone. Scamming against Witch Rock. Okay, well, we got temporary lockdown. So if Whitrock is the mono red deck, we'll be in good shape. Just play a tap land. What you playing, Whitrock? Oh, okay. Well, that also has difficulty. the temporary lockdown. Moment. Having a hard time deciding what to get rid of. Sanguine Evangelist. Sanguine Evangelista. It is. Plays Thran Portal on red. Plays two more one drops. Novice Inspector. And blows one of these up to make three goblins, maybe? Could be. Possibly. Question is, when do I temporary lockdown? Okay, I think I can temporary lockdown. I'll take one damage. Also, the possibility of doing the not dead after all. I'm just ripping up their hand here. Yeah. That should set him back. Have the cure. Hopeless nightmare. Lose one of those last two cards. Which one do you like the least? 
Cavern of Souls, okay. Resolute reinforcement. Okay, okay. I like our chances though. Warden of the Inner Sky. I'm gonna start powering that up. That's for one. Cries to the bottom. Sealed courtyard. Um, well. We'll play the Daganuma. Get in with the Restless Fortress. They go to 13, we're at 19. Imodane's Recruiter. Of course they ripped that off the top. And now we're at 9. Skullcap Snail. Not super helpful. Do this and crack the hopeless nightmare. Or just do this and not dead after all. I think that's our problem. Hang on, if they leave something in hand, but they're probably not going to leave anything in hand. They draw action. They do have a blood token to uh, go look for more action. Maybe I need to up the number of temporary lockdowns. We grow the warden. And they gleefully demolish. Okay. They are all in here. <sighs> I could take six, or I could jump, stop two of it, bring back, have a two two. Let's see what's on top of the deck. We're just scrying for temporary lockdown, pretty much. Liliana, no. You're not temporary lockdown. Wedding announcement. Bit late. Bit late on that. Okay. We can see. It was worth a try. We're scamming. I wanna scam it with you. We're scamming. And I hope you like scamming too. Up against Axe 30. Let me ask you a question, Axe 30. What's your favorite body spray? Go first. Okay. Well, uh, if we can get a creature, we could scam the creature. We'll just start off with the opponent's worst nightmare. Let's see if they play a one drop creature. Oh, okay. Looks like it's going to be Boros. Chance for revenge here. Thing on turn two? They must have the flash guy. They must have more resolute reinforcements. Oh, they just want to crack a clue. Alright, get a clue, opponent. Ah, now we got the snail. Let's play in the long game here. They ditch War Leader's Call.
Um, if they do want to flash in a guy, I think I'm fine trading my 1-1 one, one for their guy, so. That's fine. Oh, they don't. Okay. Try to keep keep as many bodies off the board as we can. Maybe it was actually incorrect. We wanted to hold up Skullcap Snail. The scam it. Bunny corn. A not so big bunny corn. Now I'm wishing I held back that cut down. Guess we'll just pass the turn. Who's got the big board now? Look at the big board on Brad. There we go. Resolute reinforcement, okay. Now the correct thing would be to attack with the bunny corn, then flash that in, but can't, uh, can't always win. Another rest of the fortress. Well, we'll take the cut down. How do we get the bunny corn smaller? To within cut down range. Hold back. One of these guys. Not trading out. They will lose a card. A Warden of the Inner Sky. Oh, there's that third mana. War leaders call. Everybody's getting big. Everybody's getting beefy. They don't attack. Okay, they're really scared of whatever we got. I wonder if I yog here. If now they're interested in blocking. I'm going to draw cards off of this opponent. Yeah, now you want to trade. The bunny is dead. Penguin Evangelist. Uh, I think I just cut it down. I'm going to make another bat. But it's mana efficient. Helping hand. We have a skullcap snail we can bring back. Scamina, scamina, scamina. Do I trade my Gix? They're at seven. They might be inclined to balk with both the bats. And I think I win the game just with the Restless Fortress. I think this is correct. This was like one less to craft with creature. Okay. Empty board, Imidane's recruiter. Still hits like a brick. That war leader's call. I thought this deck was kind of off war leader's call now. Uh, 
taste the gland. Huh. All right. They can't deal 14 damage. Maybe I should have attacked there, actually. Gotten up to one, and then the Restless Fortress is lethal. It's probably a mistake. Okay, well, they took themselves to two for us. So, uh, yeah. Unless they got removal for the Restless Fortress, it's all over. The game. Oh, or we could just win this way. <laughs> scam! If you're still watching, leave a hashtag summer of scam. Wrap up time. Let's check out the win rate of the deck and uh, talk about what cards were good and what weren't. What, which ones weren't. <laughs> what weren't? I speak good English here today. Um, yeah, 50%, very respectable 50% win rate. I think we proved we could beat Mono Red. We proved we could beat Boros. We proved we could beat Control. Um, maybe a better pilot could. I did make one change here. Took out a wedding announcement. Put in one temporary lockdown just so we had the full complement of temporary lockdowns because we were facing a lot of Boros and Mono Red in the best of one queues. It's shocker. Um, so this deck... Uh, it's pretty fun. I think if you're trying to maybe refine it a bit, when I was doing my original testing on mobile, I did not have Deep Cavern Bat. I was more all in on the Nurturing Pixie um, Cull Cap Snail Tithing Blade of it all, and it was doing really well that way. On the other hand, Deep Cavern Bat is just so good, and I think it was decent for us. Um, it is just a bit more of a nonbo with the uh, temporary lockdown, whereas with um, you know with with skullcap snail and nurturing pixie, we don't mind as much if those get locked down. Um, and you know that if the lockdown gets removed, they even come back and have a good ability. Well, I guess so does the bat. Um, Tiny bones joined up as a one of extra of the hopeless nightmare. Might be too much. You might actually only want three hopeless nightmares. I don't know, depending on what you want to do with this deck. We didn't see enough Rite of Oblivions. I think this card is actually pretty good, especially when you got the spend expendable creatures like Skullcap Snail. Doesn't, again, doesn't really work with the Deep Cavern Bat. Um, Gix is a maybe. Liliana is a maybe, although I think having more stuff to clean up opponent's creatures might be good. I think I might, um, again, my testing version, I had a couple get losts in there, and that was pretty good, you know, just dealing with a rogue planeswalker or a creature that gets through that can't be dealt with by cut down. So, you know, anyways, I think this is on to something for sure. This is definitely working. You maybe don't need a helping hand. Um, play around with the numbers on this. Definitely can improve the mana base by putting in the concealed court, uh, not the concealed courtyard, the caves of Koilos, and maybe even the, um, the slow land, the slow duel that you need two or more. Because um, there were a couple times I wish I maybe had some white mana. Don't necessarily need Takanuma. You could put in a Shieldred if you got one. There's a lot of things you could do. Shieldred, uh, obviously, if their hand is ripped apart and you drop a Shieldred, that's usually game over unless they top deck something great. So it's pretty, <laughs> pretty evil deck, but, you know, that's that's scam. So hope you enjoyed it. Check out some other fun videos uh, that YouTube thinks you will enjoy as well. And this is Manadad reminding you magic is a game so fun, even dads can enjoy it. Adios.